Avon and Rochester Road. I peeled off from Lord Darth Vader 1701 at Rochester Road. He continued on 75 and headed home. Um, he's going to stop in at home and then probably uh, zoom by afterwards. And that's not a problem. So we leave you alone for 10 freaking minutes, and what do you do? You just play with your bike. I'm going to leave this rivet line open. kind of like how that looks. <laughs> but I'm going to cover up this because it's got the, the tape. Watch your foot there, you're, you're about to step on a piece of aluminum. Okay, slow down. Well, that's probably going to get covered up anyway because it's so close to the edge. I may put a like a plastic deal around it to take or, take or, or or you know I was thinking of taking actually a little aluminum angle like this and well this would be a straight piece but then maybe a straight piece here and then little short pieces hmm. screw them into the wood and then pop rivet and I'm going to cover it all up with uh, fiberglass and carbon fiber. Actually, I maybe ought to not just do it like I'm doing and then when I'm done, take the screws out. And I'll put carbon fiber, fiberglass, you know, all the way up to here and up all along this edge. And inside too. To, to give it more secure or more support, yeah. right? Yeah. And actually, yeah. I may leave a couple of the screws in. I may actually force them down in deeper. Sweat a little when you do this stuff, man. Yeah. It's warm out today. It's going to get warmer tomorrow. That's kind of why I wanted this done before it got too hot. And the tape would just stretch all over. See, that's two different pieces of tape. Yeah. That's nah, alright. Whatever. And you got the tail light in. Look at that. Yeah, I still gotta wire it. It's uh, two pieces of angle aluminum like that, and then you know this is this is the side panel. This is where the tail light goes. So the angle metal goes like this, like this, and it's tall like this. Mm -hmm. I have the other one just like that too. Then at the top. I took a piece of angle and cut it into that arc shape and put it on top. Oh wow! You know, and and pop riveted it onto the the angles of the 
so the angle the 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 thing is actually the tail light is actually hooked up to the angle iron which is pop riveted to the frame yeah. excellent yeah. excellent but what I did was uh, on this piece that I did like this I put a couple of pieces of extra aluminum and put a pop rivet through so I'd have about you know that much metal okay for the threads to grip on to oh excellent excellent so I mean when you if you look look back in there you'll see the oh yeah you can see it you can clearly see how it's set up there that looks nice Mike that looks sweet I see how you did it I see how you did it now remember nobody's gonna see that no I'm gonna know it's there and my silence can be bought for a uh, minimum uh, oh, sure monthly I'm fee I'd, I'd proud, be proud for you to tell everybody how I did that Actually, you want me to? Don't you? I, I like I like the black, I like the black tape. I think I think that's I think that's I think that's going to be a real classy, especially well, at night. You know, I did it like that because if I d decide to do something else, I don't have something else kind of distracting. You know? Yeah. I could have put blue stripes on there, but if I wanted to do, you know, flames, how am I going to do flames and have these two blue stripes? You know, I'm not going to do flames. So I'm just saying. Yeah, I I like it. Plus, at night, it will stand out. Believe me, it will stand out. And that is his tail light right there, right there. It's beautiful. That I like that. That that's great. And it is a three wire switch, so you have running lights and you have brake lights on it. So that's great. And it's all basically. Um, handmade, uh, homemade mount, and uh, it's it's done really well, as you saw in the in the earlier part portion. And he's got a uh, handhold on it, so he can help, so it can help try to pull this thing up. I mean, it's quite balanced. It's heavier in the front, but I need a little bit of, you know, to be able to carry some of the weight up front. Yeah, but you, now, you now I can, you know, maneuver it. Yeah, now now you can handle the thing. It's not like it's not like it's going to be a battle of your life to take it off this anymore. Is, this is not going to rust. This is uh that's a kitchen drawer handle, but it's nickel. Okay. So or at least nickel plate, so That's great. That's great.